Have you ever questioned whether the transmission in your car is operating too hot or cold? The transmission temperature may be completely normal or may be a sign of more serious problems. The transmission can be destroyed by excessive heat and its efficiency can be decreased by excessive cold. Let's examine what constitutes a normal transmission temperature, the variables that affect it, and the consequences of an excessively hot transmission. But just before we start, please ensure you've subscribed to the channel. What is a normal transmission temperature range? The typical operating temperature of a transmission is between 170 and 225 degrees Fahrenheit with this range. After a suitable warm-up time, any temperature above or below this threshold should be examined and deserves more research. Extended use at temperatures outside of this range may result in irreversible internal transmission damage and accelerated wear. Factors that affect transmission temperature. The temperature of a vehicle's transmission can be influenced by a number of important factors. The implications of these factors vary significantly depending on the particular application and vehicle model. Weather conditions. Maintaining the cooling of a car's transmission will be more challenging in hotter weather. On a very hot day, a transmission can typically run 10 degrees warmer than it would normally. Fluid health. When the lubricating fluid inside a car is allowed to significantly deteriorate, the transmission will most likely operate at higher temperatures. Similarly, if corresponding transmission fluid levels fall below predetermined thresholds, similar circumstances may also occur. Cooler efficiency. Auxiliary transmission coolers, which dissipate heat and lower the transmission's operating temperature overall, are a common feature of many cars. The cooling capacity of these coolers will be constrained if they are plugged in or otherwise restricted. Driving applications. The way a vehicle is driven also has a significant impact on the operating temperature of a transmission. Transmission temperatures are typically higher in cars that are driven aggressively or used for towing than in cars that are not. At what temp does transmission fluid overheat? The chemical composition of the majority of automatic transmission fluids starts to deteriorate at temperatures higher than 240 degrees Fahrenheit. Consequently, corrosion inhibitors and lubricating packages are less likely to function at their best. Internal transmission damage is almost inevitable when operating under such suboptimal conditions for an extended length of time. Furthermore, even if a car's transmission does not run at such high temperatures for extended periods of time under each incident, repeated overheating of the transmission can still be detrimental. The condition that results is essentially the same and eventually causes the transmission fluid to break down quickly. What to do if your transmission starts to overheat? It is possible for a car's transmission to overheat occasionally. This usually occurs when hauling heavy loads or towing a trailer. Other than these two circumstances, mechanical failure of some kind is the most frequent reason for transmission overheating. If you find yourself in an overheating situation, it's important to know how to handle it. Above all, if you notice that your car's transmission is overheating, you should make it a point to stop in order to prevent additional stress. Under these kinds of circumstances, it's also a good idea to check the level and condition of a car's transmission fluid. The transmission of a car should finally be given enough time to cool down before continuing, or else the car should be towed to the closest repair facility. Tips to keep the transmission cool. Here are some essential guidelines to make sure that, even in the most extreme situations, your car's transmission stays cool. Check fluid regularly. Overheating will undoubtedly occur if a car's transmission fluid is allowed to degrade over time. During the routine inspection, you should think about getting additional service if you see that the transmission fluid in your car looks burned. Use neutral and it is best to think about putting your car in neutral while it is idling if you observe that the transmission is straining, particularly when you are experiencing extenuating circumstances like towing heavy loads. When a transmission is in neutral, its load is removed, allowing it to cool. Add additional coolers. The majority of vehicles used for towing have factory-installed transmission coolers. However, a certain amount of overheating is permitted because these stock coolers frequently prove insufficient for heavy towing applications. In certain situations, upgrading your stock cooler or adding auxiliary transmission coolers can be a wise investment. Hope the information was helpful. If so, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel.